Hi, this is Dr. Nick Delgado, and I'm with Dr. Olga Stefko uh, from Russia, but lives in San Francisco now. Dr. Steven Sinatra, who's a top expert in cardiovascular, and he's going to share with you the emotional components. And Dr. Terry Hertog from Belgium, who's uh, going to share with us how the hormones interact with the emotions. Dr. Steven Sinatra, I know you're passionate about this subject, and it's interesting that you starting out in cardiology but then look at love and emotions and how that affects the body and the heart and overall our quality of life. Tell us about what brought you to this and what you have to share with our audience. Well you know a lot of people think heart disease has a lot to do with blood pressure and cholesterol and stress and it's all true mm -hmm. but uh, I wrote the book Heartbreak and Heart Disease mm -hmm. actually in my early 40s I mean more than uh, 25 years ago. Wow. And uh, I studied bioenergetic psychotherapy. I uh, became a certified psychotherapist after putting in about 10 years. I uh, studied with Alexander Lowen, John Paracas, um, you know, some of the best therapists in the world, because I realized that cardiovascular disease is, you know, from it's the, the neck up. Pillar in its, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And basically, stress is a big factor in heart disease, especially uh, heartbreak. You know, the loss of a vital connection mm -hmm. is heartbreaking. And um, I saw more sudden death and more heart attacks uh, when people could not establish a new connection. Okay. So when you have a loss of a vital connection, it's devastating. And yes. uh, uh, that's one of the reasons why I wrote the book. And when you talk about love, you see, it, and I'm sure Terry can get into this as well, when, when you have like emotions that are an energy drain, like depression, anger, resentment, you know, I call them the shadow emotions, the shadow mm -hmm. side. Um, this can drain the energy of the heart. And uh, even when my patients uh, would have heart disease, if they fell in love with a dog or cat, or they reactivated their relationship with their spouse or fell in love with somebody, or even the love of God, then your cellular energy vibrates. Every cell, you know, when you're in love, every cellular, oh. Every cell oh. vibrates, the vibration goes up. <laughs> and when that happens, that's healing. And that's yes. part of emotional healing. So I've been doing emotional healing uh, ever since I became a psychotherapist. I studied Gestalt psychotherapy, bio I've been studying psychotherapy as soon as I got out of uh, my fellowship in cardiology. So it's been a great ride. And, and I worked with Olga Stefko. Um, um, when I had my hip replacement, uh, she sent me tapes to uh, focus on, on the surgery. And she does a lot of NLP, and I'm oh. sure we'll hear from her. And, and uh, Terry and I met, uh, oh gosh, 15 years ago at the A4M. He was like lecturing on, on endocrinology, and uh, you know, he's an expert in that area.